looks really confusing, right? And if I, if I probably didn't give you guys any context and just gave this to you guys on a test or quiz, you guys would probably be like, eh, don't know how to do it. Just get, 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 didn't teach it, not, don't know how to do it. But again, if we just use the thinking, sign, guys, our trigonometric functions represent triangles, right? We just used our understanding of the triangles within a unit circle to like do these operations quicker. We don't know if this points on the unit circle or not, right? We don't know, like, we don't know. So again, though, can we represent this as a triangle, right? Because this is basically saying the sine of some angle equals x over the square root of x squared plus 1. We don't want to represent that as y, as the y coordinate, right? We, we're going to want to represent that as the opposite over the hypotenuse. So let's draw our triangle. Opposite over hypotenuse. And now, can we now, eval can we now figure out what this side is so we could take the cosine? Sure. Now, we don't have anything for this, though. So we need to substitute this in for something, right? So I don't know. What do you guys want to use? Well, we've got to pick a variable to represent that. Wow. Let's use a. So now, if I use Pythagorean theorem, I'd have a squared. Um, now, I don't want to write my answer as you know, a over this. We want to write our ter answer in terms of x. And that's exactly what the question will say. It's a evaluate in terms of x. So we'll have a squared plus x squared equals square root of x squared plus 1 squared. So I get a squared plus x squared equals x squared plus 1. Subtract x squared, subtract x squared. a squared is equal to 1. Therefore, a is equal to 1. one. So we could just say a is equal to 1, and that is your cosine. And if you needed to rationalize the denominator, it would look like this. Right? Yes? Yes. 